And today we are going to discuss switched mode power supply, boost converter type. So this type of this switched mode power supply takes a low input voltage to a high output voltage. Let's say five you have five volt and you want to get twelve, ten volt you want to get twenty, fifty volt you want to get a hundred. So you can utilize this type of power supply. Let's name the parts. We have the inductor, we have the switch. We have the control circuit to turn on and off the switch. We have the diode. We have the capacitor. And we have the load resistor. How does this power supply work? This works in a principle of switching voltage. So it switches voltage on and off rapidly so that it will give us an efficient output voltage. The, uh, the signal is generated from this control circuit. So this control circuit here is the one to generate a signal which is going to turn um, the switch on and off. So this type of signal is known as a PWM signal. It's, not, it's in the form of a square wave. So if we come up here, you can see. So when this power supply is always off, obviously it's off. When it's turned on, it goes off. It's turned on, it goes off like that. So that signal is generated here. So this signal is connected to the base of a transistor <laughs> and to the gate of a motor. So it is going to, to control that, the, the switching element. So now, now that we know that this one is being controlled by the switch on and off, how does it now work? When this signal, which is connected here, has turned on, okay, meaning that it is high, Okay, this is a digital signal. This is one and down here is zero. So well, let's say it is one. At that point, the power is already connected here. You have already supplied. This power will come. It will pass through this inductor. What is the, the principle of this inductor in this circuit? The inductor stores energy. It stores electrical energy in the form of magnetic field. So when the current will be passing through it, it will start storing energy slowly by slowly as the current passes through it. Now it comes up to here. It, it come, when it reaches here, it finds that this, this transistor has turned on. Okay. So obviously, this transistor will short. After shorting, the current follows the least resistance path to the ground. So the current will, will follow this path up to, to the ground. So it will short here. So no current will go toward this diode when the switch has turned on. So by that time, the current will still be here flowing at this point. When the switch turns on, the switch goes off. So that is now when the switch goes off, this side will be open. This transistor will be open and the current will now come this way and to proceed toward there. So when it turns off, the inductor has toward the magnetic field electrical energy in the form of magnetic field okay this energy from the inductor will be released and when it will be released it will go toward this diode and it diode this diode is be forward bias when the switch is off so it will allow the current to pass to the load and then in the reaching here the current will be start getting stored from this capacitor the capacitor also stored electrical uh, electrical energy so it stores this electrical energy then it goes up to the output now we'll get the output voltage the output voltage we only get when the switch is off because when the switch is on there is no current going toward the the diode this is because the here it will create a least resistance path okay so when the switch is on this diode will be in reverse bias. When the switch goes off, that is now when the diode will conduct and the current will go through the output. So when the switch is off, the inductor will power and the energy stored from the inductor will also continue power the load. So this inductor plays two roles. Role number one is to store and release energy to the load when the switch has turned off. Turned off. Role number two, due to switching, this movement of on and off, on and off, this will make the this the voltage at this point to start fluctuating. So at this at this according to the principle, the DC voltage is kind of a straight line. So we need a pure DC to give in to our load. So this transistor will tend will be act, acting also as removing ripple so that it will smoothen 
the output voltage so that we get a DC voltage at the output. So another thing I want to mention, if you check out here, if you check out here, you will see that there is a V out which is pointed here. The V out is pointing back to the control circuit which turns on and off the switch, which is controlling the MOSFET or the transistor. So the reason why this voltage is connected is back here. This is because there is a, feed, a feedback circuit which is comparing the input voltage with the output voltage. This allows us to get a steady state output voltage. So it will allow us to get a constant output voltage regardless of the fluctuation. So having explained that, now let's come back here. When this charges and discharges, the result of this is that the induced voltage across the inductor reverses and adds to the output voltage and now becomes so at this point here the in so once it charges and discharges what is charges the input voltage will be here the energy stored at this point will also be there so which means uh, when the inductor trend to, re to release so the input voltage will be added to the voltage stored in the inductor that is why now it will be released to the output so that is why you can see this is higher where by the voltage is going to get added up because the energy stored plus the input voltage you will get more voltage which will be going toward the output okay so let's let's discuss some uh, another important part as the induced EMF across uh, the induced voltage across the inductor is negative, it tends it tends toward the source, v enforcing the inductor current into the uh, to go toward the output when it's already add up. So the boost converter steady state. So the output voltage will be calculated as the v out will be calculated as the voltage input one over one minus the duty cycle duty cycle is equal or voltage in times one over one minus d what is the duty cycle okay that is the duty cycle is defined as the conduction time of when the transistor has uh, stand on and off so you must know the conduction time at, at what seconds the switch is on at what second the switch is off so that is how a uh, um boost power supply works so guys that is the brief we can say about this we can we are going to design this one physically so let's meet next time on another type thank you